Oh, you guys. This day started out good, and I was anxious to go to Walmart and get there early and just continue with my day. But after I took my shower, when I walked into the dining room, well, where I have my, my laptop set up, I could hear my laptop was beeping. And I thought, I've never heard that beep before. It does not sound good. So I was going to turn it off, but before I even got to it, the screen popped up that there was no bootable device and that it was restarting, and it restarts, and all I get is this no bootable device screen. And I spent probably an hour so far troubleshooting, looking at all you know possible fixes, and nothing has worked. So I fear that there is something completely corrupt with my hard drive. And I just, I cannot believe the nightmare. I just have to remember that it's not the end of the world. It's, it's the end of, you know, stuff that I had planned in my immediate future. But it's not the end of the world if I have to start over. The thing that makes me mad is that I always say I need to get an external hard drive and that I I need to always have a backup computer, a good one. And I've been wanting to buy a new computer for what, maybe two years now? <laughs> and I just haven't done it. So if I cannot get that fixed, uh, I won't even be able to upload this video. And um, videos that I have saved on my hard drive, I won't be able to access them. All the videos that I've saved of me and Skylar, I won't be able to access those. You know, I know I could pay a geek probably a few hundred dollars or more to, to resolve this issue for me. But right now, all I can think of is how am I going to continue immediately? I even have a Fabric Frenzy coming up. I won't be able to run that if I don't have a laptop. So I'm going to Walmart. And in addition to my little shopping list, I'm going to be looking for a laptop, which is not the way I wanted to shop. I wanted to be able to do it online. Oh, just so incredibly frustrating. Now, I have found ways to completely bring a computer back to life, but it's a lot of work, it's a lot of stress, and it's, you know, watching video after video after video of tips on how to fix things, or the last video I watched, I have to take my whole laptop apart and go look at a little tiny cable. I'm willing to do that, but it's just, um, you know, it's just a lot. And, uh, but I don't give up. I just don't give up. But I would like to have a new computer and start that up and running so I can at least work while I'm trying to get back to my old one. However, uh, I use Movie Maker to edit videos and... I know nothing else, and everything else is so vastly different than Movie Maker. I have tried to separate myself from that because I know that Movie Maker is no longer supported. And as far as I know, I can't even download it onto a new computer. So I would be forced to learn something new, which I don't want to do right now. And I've tried other software for video editing, and I hated them. And I always go back to Movie Maker. So, oh, oh my God. Anyway, let's just go to Walmart. I thought I'd do the intro in the car because right now I'm just so stressed that I don't even feel like driving. But we got to get to Walmart. So we'll see you in the store. I did not know that it's freezing out there and windy. I'm in such denial. Okay, Cane's Mayo for my mother. She is almost out. $3.12, the only mayo she likes. Now I just realized I never asked her what she wanted for lunch. She knows I'm having computer issues, so I'm sure she didn't even want to bother me with it. Where am I? I'm in the wrong aisle. She certainly won't starve. She's got food <laughs> that she can eat. But I just feel bad because I had leftovers for her that I wanted to heat up for her. Oh my god, I'm just so miserable right now. Okay, they have my country farmhouse. Bacon, that's only three thirty-three for a pound. And the last time they didn't have any, and I'm in the mood for bacon. Now this is the irregular bacon, irregular slices. Do like that, and I'm going to cook some. I think I'm gonna buy five. I love my bacon ends, but sometimes I like slices. Where the hell is the pudding? I'm gonna buy some instant pudding, lemon. French vanilla. 
chocolate. And let's do banana cream. Nancy will be making my mother French toast tomorrow. She makes her as much as she wants and we freeze it. So I'm gonna have her make a whole loaf. She brings this big flat griddle thing that she has and she can make like, you know, six or eight at a time. Uh, and my mother likes the square sandwich bread for French toast. She likes anything, but I'm getting her this. Oh, and uh, the puddings were 68 cents and this bread is 138. And I'm also picking up two chickens reduced to $2.99. And they certainly don't have much in reduced for sweets. They have like a lot of bread, but we don't want that. And uh, they have just this, and I'm not getting that. Not for $2.91. But my mother likes it when I come home with these little bags of cookies. And there's some reduced in there. Ultimate chocolate turtle brownie cookies. So I'm going to get her a bag of those. About the cheapest dozen I can find is $2.18. Some of you guys are telling me the incredibly cheap prices you have for a dozen eggs. I mean, your eggs and milk. Some places are so cheap. I would live off eggs. <laughs> I'm going to just grab a couple dozen of the, um, you know, at 218 per dozen. Um, Nancy makes hard-boiled eggs for my mother every week. And with the French toast and all that, we go through a lot of eggs. My mother likes eggs for breakfast too or just whatever she eats a lot of eggs she eats a lot of everything I don't eat eggs often but when I do eat them I eat quite a few like the other night I was hungry and I, I didn't feel like cooking steak so I had uh, bologna and eggs but I ate six eggs I usually eat six where am I she needs um, oatmeal uh, right here and she wants cornflakes just getting her the great value quick oats. I can't remember, 324, I think, for that big tub. And I'm going to get her the great value cornflakes. And this big box is 286. I'm getting her great value creamy peanut butter. It's 218 for this. It is 16 ounces. And because I'm walking right by them, I'm going to get her some of these crackers that she likes. She calls them high hose. They're uh, buttery rounds. And no, she doesn't have any chocolate, so I'm going to look at the candy. I can't find the boxes of the 18 chocolate bars that I get her all the time. I haven't gotten them in a while. I do not see them. I bet they're probably only available online now. Where are they? <sighs> Not only did I find them, but they have another kind variety pack of just all Snickers. But she loves these because she loves Milky Ways, Three Musketeers, Twix, and she loves all four of those. So 18 full-size bars for $11.84. And a little while ago, I bought her a bag of um, the orange fruit slices like this, you know, just the orange ones. Uh, from Hannaford and she said they were tough. She didn't care for them as much as the Walmart ones So I'm going to get her the colored fruit slices. It's 250 for this container And now I'm on my way to computers. I just Can't believe I let this happen every time. Here's the good news. The good news is that I have let myself get into this crisis. Every single time I've ever bought a computer, it's because my computer died on me and I could not fix it. And I'm pretty determined when it comes to fixing things. I'm willing to try anything. So here's the good news part. I have always recovered nicely. Not only recovered, but regret that I didn't do it before. So even if I'm forced to learn new video software, I always said that I'll be forced. That's the only way I'll ever do it. And once I do, you know, I'm bound to find things about it that make it worth it. But boy, I'm gonna miss my movie maker. So I'm gonna look at computers and... <sighs> so sad. I bought a laptop. I have 15 days to return it if I don't like it. I can't even tell you the name. It's just an off-brand. I had just a choice of that or an HP, I would have liked the HP, but this one starts with L, has um, one T of memory. I don't even know, terabyte, is that what it is? And the others are 500 gigabytes, and 
that is uh, the what I got is double, and I need that. And they um, matched the online price, so I got it for only two sixty nine, which is really good. I consider laptops disposable, but I have to remember to dispose of them before they die on me. Meaning, I always have to have a backup, and. Um, you know, I need to get an external hard drive and all that stuff. It's just a nightmare, a fucking nightmare. But I will survive it. I always do. It always ends like this in a crisis for me, and I always recover from it. So I just have to remember that. And there's a good chance that I can bring my old one back to life. Um, certainly going to try, but I'm going to give this new laptop a, a shot and see if I like it. And, uh... I still will look online to see if there's better options, and, you know, if I could get the other one fixed, I certainly won't even open this one. I'll just, you know, shop and see if there's something else that I like better, and, um, anyway. I just hope, I hope I can somehow get an old version of Movie Maker, because I just can't learn new software right now. Not today, not in one day. <sighs> All right, thank you for hanging out with me. I'm cutting this short because... My life currently sucks, and I need to go take care of that. Bye!